Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to do something different. Instead of plugging in external storage devices to the iPhone to see if it works, we're going to try out another new feature of iOS 13, that of mouse support. Now I thought, wouldn't it be really cool if we could get the original Macintosh keyboard and mouse to work with the iPhone now? So I went out and got two of them. This is the M0 110 keyboard and the M0 100 mouse. Now at first glance, you might think this keyboard has yellowed a lot more over the years than the mouse. But actually, Apple made this mouse longer, up until about 1990, because it was used with the Mac Plus. And around 1987, they switched to a platinum color scheme for all their computers from beige. So that's why this is a little lighter. However, it is still the same model, M0100, and it works with all the original compact Macs. And a fun fact, it actually will work on an Apple Lisa. And the Apple Lisa mouse, which has a much smaller button, will work on all the original compact Macs as well. Now this is the original keyboard. It was only made for a couple of years until it was replaced with the Mac Plus with a newer model that had a numeric keypad on it. So this, this one never made it long enough to get a platinum revision. And some of you might think, well, it looks a little familiar. And you might be right. Here's my keyboard for my iMac, non-numeric keypad version. And if you ignore the uh, massive bezel around it, it pretty much is the same shape as it was all those years ago. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, well, how do we get these old connectors from the 80s into the iPhone? Well, we obviously have to get them to USB. And I went out looking, and there's not a lot out there for these keyboard and mice because they're just, they're just not a lot of them out there. Whereas the ADB connector that Apple used for over a decade after these uh, devices, it's a little more prevalent. But I was able to find one guy that makes both the keyboard adapter and the mouse adapter and had them in stock. He goes by Tinkerboy. I'm gonna put a link in the description to his website. He has a lot of cool um, obscure adapters as well as some really cool Raspberry Pi devices he makes. So check out his link in the description. So the original Mac keyboards had an RJ11 connector. It looks a lot like a telephone cord, but the wiring is different. So that goes into here to a USB connector. And the original Macintosh mouse was a DE9 connector, and it goes into here to a USB connector. Both of these adapters are, are very nice quality, very well made, and they work perfectly on my iMac, so that's great. So let's, get it, let's go about getting it into the iPhone. Now, in the back of this stand from Apple, I have that USB to lightning connector that I've used in all my other videos, and I've plugged in a hub to it so we can put multiple devices in it now. So I'm going to go hook up the mouse and the keyboard to that hub, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Hopefully that looks aesthetically pleasing. So, as I move around the mouse here, you'll see the little cursor moving. And um, this is not automatic. You have to go into uh, accessibility and turn on assistive touch in order for USB mice to work, or Bluetooth mice to work. And that's kind of buried down in the settings. And you'll get this kind of virtual home button that you see right here on the right side of the screen. And we'll look at that in a minute. So let's fire up Safari. So we can type just fine, scroll just fine, click on links just fine. All works as you'd expect. So if you want to close the app, you can go over to this virtual home button. And there are a ton of uh, features in this thing. And uh, right on the front screen is just home, and that's how you can get out of applications. So one of the other things you can do from here is uh, activate Siri. What do you think of the mouse? The M0100 mouse is the best companion for an iPhone. All other mice are crap. What about the keyboard? I love the sound of a mechanical keyboard. Sometimes older is better. Well, there you go. Siri doesn't lie. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's, let's send Tim Cook a tweet about this. I think this is pretty cool. So we'll go into Twitter. And we will look him up. Let's send him a tweet. Hey, Tim. Coming at you from my iPhone X, a 
attached to original Macintosh keyboard and mouse. Pretty cool. Huh? All right. So I'll just send that off. And we can go back home. And of course, we can do some other things with it, like go into paint programs, kind of like Mac Paint was back in the day. I'll warn you, I have zero artistic ability. And of course, you can play a variety of games. So that's it. I mean, it really works great. It really does. I'll tell you what, I really wanted to bring this baby into the picture. This is the original external 400K drive case for the Macintosh. It's very bulky, it's very unique. It doesn't look anything like any of the other external drives that Apple made for the Macintosh. And I got an immaculate case off of eBay, and I was able, there'll never be a USB adapter for this thing, but I got just the case, and I was able, with some minor modifications, to put a modern USB floppy drive into it, and it works great. And I really wanted to include that in this video, but if you watched my earlier video on floppy disks, you know that they don't work, and even in Beta 7, they still don't work on the iPhone. The only way I got floppy disks to work was with the Imation Super Drive, and that's way too big to fit in this case. So. Hopefully someday it'll, it'll be added and it'll work. However, there is one device I found around my house where all three of these products work on. The keyboard, the mouse, and the floppy disk drive. And they work pretty well. And I'll give you a hint, it's not a laptop or desktop, it's not a tablet or a smartphone, and it's not a game console. So I will do a follow-up video with this equipment on that device. So please like, subscribe, hit that notification. Bell. I will be back with that follow-up video as well as future retro videos, but that's all for now. Take care.